98.5% of you guys are not subscribed, so please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase your frame rate. Now, you don't have to download anything in this video, you just have to make changes. Well, let's get started. The first thing that you can do to increase your frame per second is to delete all your textures. To do this, simply right click on the shortcut to Roblox and then click open file location this will lead you here click on platform content then PC then you'll see three folders click on textures and you'll see all these textures now I am going to delete all of the textures well not delete but move somewhere else so I'm just going to make a folder on the desktop, let's call it textures, and we'll go back here, select the f uh, textures that we don't want, cut them, then paste them back in textures, and I'll repeat this process for these. And just like that, we've removed all our textures. You can X out of these now. The next thing that you can do is one of the most simple things. It is to turn down your graphics quality. So now that I've deleted all my textures, it's, the game should run more smoothly. But if your computer is not very capable of handling high graphics, press escape 
go to settings and turn down your graphics quality. In my case, best performance is located at graphics quality 1, so you can do that. And just like that, it is much faster. The third thing that you can do is to check the game settings. For example, in Arsenal, there's a settings tab here. And if you click on display, you can see all these. Now, I do not activate any of these because they make my computer lag out more. So if you have any of these activated and find that you are very laggy, just turn them off. Now, one of the most simple things is to make it a smaller window. This makes the game run very fast because it doesn't have to render in as many pixels. Let's do a comparison. With this, I get around 40 or 50 frames per second. Now if I go into full screen, I get 20 or 15 frames per second. So as you can see, it is quite a big difference. Now the next few ones are in Roblox Studio. If you have downloaded Roblox, Roblox Studio should be located on your desktop, and it should look like this little icon here. Go inside of it, click File, then Settings. So you want to go to Rendering. It says ch there's a warning here that says changing settings may make Roblox unstable. We recommend that you don't change any non-studio settings unless instructed to do so by a Roblox engineer. So now we see all these. Go to performance and for quality level, change it to whatever you want. Level 21 being the highest and level 1 being the lowest. So I'll set it to level 1. Make sure that you're selecting quality level and not edit quality level because edit quality level only affects studio and quality level only affects the player. Now go down to general and you'll see graphics mode. You can change graphics mode to no graphics if you want the best performance. Now go to game options. If you, you can see video quality here. If you set it to low resolution, it is going to perform much faster. Some settings may not take effect until you restart with Roblox. So we can just click restart, and once it restarts, we can just X out of it. The last tip is to close other stuff that is running in the background. For example, if I have many apps here that are also running, I could close all of them to make Roblox have higher priority to make sure that it runs faster. So now, let's look at what Roblox looks like after all these settings that we made. So we're playing in a small window, we've, um, we've moved all the textures somewhere else, we've changed a bunch of game settings, and now look, we have some very high frames right now, and if I wasn't recording, I would probably have even higher frames. So yeah, that's about it for how you can make Roblox have higher frames per second. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!